Hi, in my first video I showed you how to do this embossed resist technique to make the front panel of this card. Now I'm going to show you how to make the Z Fold Mother's Day card I made. Your supplies you'll need will be crumb cake cardstock cut at eight and a half by four and a quarter, three pieces of DSP cut at four and an eighth by four and an eighth, a craft knife, a ruler, crumb cake ink, your adhesive, a pencil, and some glue, and a sponge. That's really all you need, plus that original panel. Now to make the original panel, I cut some crumb cake cardstock that was at 2 and 3 quarter by 2 and 3 quarter and mounted my 2 and 5 eighths inch square on top. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your sponge and crumb cake ink and you're going to sponge all the way around. When you get finished on the front you're going to turn it over and do it on the back. Then you're going to take and you're going to glue down on the inside back one piece of DSP centered and then on the inside front you're going to glue down another piece of DSP centered but the difference is that aside from using your adhesive on the outside you're going to put some glue on, spread it around so that the entire piece is glued down. Then you're going to take your card front, the inside, as I did, and you're going to measure in two and an eighth. That's halfway near the top and two and an eighth near the bottom. Then on your little panel, you're going to measure in, since this is two and three quarters, you're going to go in one and three eighths and put a tick mark at the top and at the bottom. You're going to line the tick marks on that up with the tick marks on your card and you're going to trace around. Then you're going to take your, oh I should say you're only going to trace, trace from the ticks around the front. Do not cut this section. Now you're going to take and you're going to use your X-Acto knife and you're going to cut out on those drawn lines. And this is what you'll end up having. Now the next step is to take your scorer, whatever, oh, excuse me. The next step is to turn it over, take your other sheet of DSP for the front, and you're going to glue it down over top of that cut area. Now, as you did on the last piece, you need to have adhesive or glue on the entire thing. So once again, take my glue and spread it around. Now the whole thing will be covered. And that's just so that it stays covered when you do the cut, or stays glued together once you do the cutting. You're going to center that on the card front push it down and you really should leave it sit for a couple of minutes but because I don't have the time I'm not going to. Take your craft knife and once again cut on exactly the same lines as you cut last time. Now you're cutting through that front. It's just it's too hard to cut through three pieces of paper. If it doesn't go through the first time, do another cut. Now if you're careful you don't need to use a straight edge this time, but I, if you can see I made a little mistake so I should have been using my straight edge. Now make sure it's cut all the way through. If it isn't, go back with your X-Acto blade and do it again. If it was dry, it would go a lot easier, but since it's wet, that's what's taking me, so. 
That's why it's so hard to do. There we go. Yours will go a lot smoother, like I say, leave it dry for a few minutes first. Now you're going to take your scorer again. You're going to put your card in there and you are going to score down only at from the top to where your pencil mark was. The top, the bottom to where your pencil mark was. Then you're going to take and fold this back. Now yours will be a lot neater, like I say, it will be dry. If you have to trim off some edges, feel free. Now you're going to take this front panel and you're going to slide it right in here and you're going to glue it down with your adhesive. Now this can just be adhered down. Now mine has, like I say, because I did mine while it was wet, I have a little bit of shabby edges. If you find that that happens, you can trim them off so that it looks neat and tidy. And that's really all there is to it. All that's left is to do some embellishment. And what, what I did was I cut out a butterfly, put it on the front, put a couple of pearls on, cut out a shape and stamped it with Wonderful Mother and we were set. I hope you didn't find that too hard or too confusing. If you did, let me know please and I'll take care of fixing it up. Thanks again. Bye.